Hey guys, what's up? So I've been working on a drone project recently, which involves controlling the BLDC motor with some kind of remote control system. There are flight controllers actually available in market, but they are not exactly cheap. And I wanted to make something that would work and wouldn't cost much. So I tried to make my own flight controller board with an Arduino Nano hooked up with an NRF24 L01 module. I designed these two PCBs, one for transmitter and other one is for receiver and send them to JLC PCB for samples. JLC PCB is one of the well-known PCB manufacturer in market and they make good stuff. You can check them out. Link is in video description. For data transfer, I use NRF24 L01 RF module connected with an Arduino R3 board. This is the basic setup. I added the buttons and joystick to the transmitter PCB and MPU6050 and BLDC ESC header pins on the receiver's PCB. Assembly was pretty easy. I first soldered the SMD components which were these LEDs for testing and 10 kilo ohm registers for the switches. After adding the SMD component, I added the through hole component like joystick, module, Arduino Nano and other stuff. Also, do not forget to add a 10 UF electrolytic capacitor to VCC and ground of the NRF module or your setup will keep on resetting itself and you might have radio connection error later on. After the assembly, it's time to upload the test sketch which would be this. Now, you can download this sketch from this project's hackster page. Link is in video description. This is the level 1 test sketch which basically transmit a message and receiver will display it on a serial monitor. The level 2 sketches are these. This time we can hook two setup externally because we don't need to display any messages. We just need to toggle an LED with a button from the transmitter side. The level 3 would be to add servo to this setup and control it with the analog joystick. The code is same as before as in that code we've already defined the servo pin and analog joystick. Now because of this sketch we can use both of these setup as transmitter and receiver at the same time. At last the goal of this project was to control a generic drone. So I changed the code a little bit and this is how everything went.
Now this is definitely not a final step. I still need to improve a code a lot and add MPU6050's code to this setup, which I will do that soon. You can use these two setup for literally controlling anything from a robot to a doorbell. If you need any help or you guys run into any problem, just comment and I'll help you out somehow. PCB data and other stuff related to this project can be found on the Hackster page which is given in the link description. So if you found this video on YouTube, be sure to check that out. Peace out and 